Hello guys and welcome to a video by me Bullet Bullets. In this video I'm going to be showing you 7 or 8 online operating systems that I know of. Um, as you can see I've got this full screen so you're able to see the whole thing. Um, as I say I've got 7 or 8 and as you can see I have them all up. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one. Um, I'm then going to pause the video. I'm going to go into the, the, other, the next one. I'm going to log into it and play the video again to then show you. So it's going to be a couple of pauses. Um, that doesn't really matter too much. And I'll also leave all the links and descriptions to all of these uh, op online operating systems. Um, so the first one is called Astra NOS. Um, as you can see, you can see the whole thing. It's uh, you've got like a bar here and uh, just some games and stuff like that. Um, that's the first one done really. Again, all the links in the description. Be right back. Back now. This one is called iOS. Now this is an amazing one. This is a really good online operating system. It's one of the bigger ones. I've done a video on this before. Um, as you can see, it looks like it's got a layout of a normal operating system as such. You've got the time down here and things like that. Now you can upload your files onto this and use it as a file manager. You can send an internal message, create a new document, and create a new spreadsheet. Now I'm going to go into click on Office. You've got file management, word processor, and loads of that stuff. You can go on um, Navigator, which is obviously um, a browser. Uh, Oops, I've done that wrong. And as you can see, it's a fully functional browser. You can also go wide to a full screen with it, which is very cool. And then you've got calculator, text editor, games, uh, systems, and different places. Um, that's another really, really good um, operating system, online operating system. Again, all of these are free and. Um, a lot of them you do need to log into, uh, so yeah, there is a lot that you need to log into, but they're all free, as I say. And quick sign up. Um, so this is iOS. I'll leave the description to this again. Back now, this one is is called Ghost, and it's G H O S T. It's got those dots, things like that. Um, now, as you can see here in this part, I am logged in as a guest, which you can do on this. I've also got an account on this, but I thought it'd be better just to show you. Um, logged in as a guest. Um, so as you can see here, um, it really does look like um, a Windows operating system as such, or a real operating system. You have the time down here, you have your sound systems, you have your normal taskbar kind of thing. Um, you, you can even do this, which I think is awesome. You can drag around your icons, you can change your background, um, you can arrange the icons, things like that. Um, you got you can go on YouTube. You're using their YouTube directory. Um, you have got your Mac computer and things like that, which you can go into. Um, and you've also got the web browser and things like that you can go on as well. Uh, so this is another really good web browser. Uh, not a web browser, even a web um, operating system. This is again free. You have to sign up for this, but you can go on as guest. Um, again, link in the description. Back, um, this one I say back a lot. <laughs> um, this one is called Glide OS, um, and it's 3.0. Um, you need to be have an account on this, as you can see, you have an account. This is a bit of a different one. Um, you can do stuff like draw and things like that, but instead of keeping it in its own window, for instance, if I click draw, it will open me in a new tab um, or a new window. And you've got loads of things on this. You can go on browser, you can send emailing, you can write documents, you've got a profile, you got you can go on something called my website. Um, the draw feature is actually quite good and things like that and you have to time down here including by second and you can hang over it and as you can see it says it um, so this is Glide OS again link in the description back and this one is called um, my Goya um, this one's a really nice clean one I like this one um, as you can see you have um, your log out here kind of thing you can also um, add a new desktop which I think is a really nice feature um, and then you can have two desktops or three or four or five and blah 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 so you can do more than one thing and um, you can also log out by clicking the log out there um, you can all, you've got Flickr and things like this and you've also got an, a chat and an instant messenger um, if you click on this you can also go into applications and you can get all your applications straight from here um, and do like a writing program and paint and things like that um, and you can also change your background and the thing I wanted to show you is You've then got a really nice, decent file manager, which I think is laid out really well. And you can upload new things, you can download things, you can unpack the things, and share the things, and things like that, which is really good. Um, so this was Agoya. I will leave the link in the description to this. 
back and this one is called WebX online operating system um, as you can see the image is like this as such but it is um, usable um, you've got the home you have a browser, a web processor, speed uh, no not speed, a spreadsheet which is that um, it has a one uh, browser and things like that um, so this is another good little web browser uh, I'll keep saying web browser, web operating system again link in description to this and here is the last one, oh, I didn't say back back and here's the last one, it's called Windows for All you've probably heard of this one before um, as you can see it looks just like a window of uh, Windows Vista um, and you can go into Internet Explorer there you are uh, you've got your weird little clock and all that thing at the side you've got a Windows Media, pl Windows Media Player and you can actually load stuff as you can see here um, so you can actually load things, you have Paint which works fully um, file ex explorer and such as that so it does work fully um, so that's another one that's Windows for all um, so that is seven online operating systems um, I'll leave all the links in the description to not to the actual either to the actual main bit itself or the bit to sign up um, so here, this is a video by me bullet bullets this was seven online operating systems if you like my videos please do comment and subscribe thank you very much for watching